Good day, folks. This is Omar Jose, servant. Man, peace. Happy Sabbath. Good morning. Uh, this is this gonna be a little different video right here. Um, get this angle, whatever. Anyway, this is a little video right here, and I know I haven't made any videos on YouTube for a good minute. And the reason is, um, uh, F Facebook got that live thing going on. Twitter got the live thing going on. And people were getting seen and getting more views that way. And I, I just I did that um, Note Seven, the Note Seven view uh, thing I did that blew up quick. And it was about a phone, and that got a hundred thousand views or a thousand views or something like that. And I was mesmerized that people were more concerned about a phone than their souls. And that frustrated me a whole lot. I mean, it really did. I was I was sad about that. I was like, Father, over I have over six hundred videos, and maybe three videos made it to two hundred, to a hundred rather. But um, this one video, just about a cell phone, the death of a cell phone, or um, the way this cell phone was made, is more important. And how humans treat each other, and how to respect the Most High's words, and how to be human was less important. The phone was more important than how to be human, how to treat each other. And so I was mesmerized by that. And so with the Facebook's live, I'm on Facebook's live, and Jose Omar Van of Black. Um, that when we're telling the people about the spirit and how to heal themselves. And to help heal others and to be harmonious according to the will of the Most High. Not because I say so. Um, we shoot a video, we shoot a quick video, maybe like a 15 minute video, sometimes, sometimes like 20 minutes. And we would get 64 views within two, three minutes. Real views, not paid off views, not views borrowed from somebody else and yeah, whatever things they do with nowadays. Like those people, these was authentic views, opposed to people getting not so authentic views on YouTube. And so, the authentication of of these likes and views are becoming more important. Now, I really, I'm, I'm really too not fond of the likes, whatever, whatever, because it's not about me. But I was concerned about the likes when it came to a cell phone versus a human body or the soul, and most important, the relationship between humanity and the Most High. The gap between the two was so staggering that I, 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 I'm sad about it. But I'm even more sad about now I know why people giggle and laugh when the so-called black man call themselves Israel, the children of Israel. Uh, you know what I mean? And as I'm listening to it, at first it was real sad. I, and I just sat back and just didn't say anything about it. I was waiting to see if anybody would correct them or correct themselves or bring out the facts of what, uh, who is Israel, what is Israel, what's the character of Israel, what's the nature of Israel, and why did the Most High give Israel a vision? So I'm going to get to that. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up. Father, I thank you for waking up the people who's watching this video. I ask that you open up our eyes, our ears, and our minds, and our hearts. That you may be glorified, Father. Father, you said you love the truth. You said those who tell the truth and stand up for the truth, they will find rest in you. So here I stand with you and with many others, Father, who will make sure the same desire to tell the truth, to be the truth, to live the truth. According to your will, not our will. Because our truth sometimes, excuse my fault, my tongue, Father, because our truth is distorted. And I know mine may seem distorted too. So, being that I'm not special, we're not special, Father. We ask that your truth reign over us. We ask that your truth be our, our leader. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I come. And to the prophets before me and after me, I say thank you. Say la. <coughs> Happy Sabbath. I pray this video go longer than 18 minutes, if I pray. Now, Let's get this correct. All you folks who call yourself Israel. 
You're not Israel, so-called black people. You're not Israel. You may be the children of Israel. Now let's look at this word. Children of Israel. That means Israel is the root. And from that root came children. So the children is not the father. Like we tell the people, the fake Jesus is not the most high. The father and the son are not the same. They share attributes. Me and my pops are not the same. We have the same features. We both believe in the Most High. We both eat food. We both put our clothes on. We both pray. We both we do a lot of similarities. But I am not my father. I mean, my, 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 my pops. I practice being like my, I practice being like my creator. And I respect the attributes of my earthly pops. But I'm not my creator and I'm not my pops. I am an attribute and a result of the two. And I have a choice as I'm learning to either honor my pops and most of all my creator and be like them or I can take up my own identity, identity take upon their righteous attributes and use those righteous attributes to build on a kingdom of righteousness here on earth. And it's not that far-fetched, if you can get this, okay? Now, let's go back to this Israel thing. People call themselves Israelites. An Israelite is a attribute of the children of Jacob. What is Jacob? What do the word, what do the name Jacob mean? Let's go to the source real quick. Let's see if let's see if Google know before I get you get to, before we get to the truth. I mean as we're getting to the truth, excuse me. I took my Google thing off. All right, I'm going to reinstall my Google. Something was wrong with it at one time. But anyway, um, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can get it. Google. What does the name Jacob mean? Now, in the Old Testament, Jacob later called Israel. Now, it didn't tell it's not telling me what the name Jacob means. Let me see. Jacob, let's see what Jacob means. Coming up, coming up, Calabrian philosophy. Damn, just tell me what just say what it means. They, they want to go through all this philosophy and stuff. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, doesn't say I'm looking for it on here and it didn't say so we find another one we're going to try to get the the world view okay let's see I'll go to Wikipedia I haven't been in a while uh, Jacob is a common male first name and like well known surname 1999 2012 see nobody knows with the name Jacob mean? Why? 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 Yaku. Ethiopian Yaku. You know. See, so let's find it. So if somebody can get get this, find out what Jacob means. Now, we know Jacob's name, obviously, whatever his name meant, right? The Most High changed it to Israel. Now, what do Israel mean? Hmm, let's just count the waves. He who wrestles with 
the Most High? Why do you wrestle with the Most High? Who would want to wrestle the most with the Most High? Huh? So now, as you're running around parading, we are Israelites, we are Israelites, what you're really saying in Hebrew and to the rest of the planet and angels that we enjoy wrestling with the Most High. We enjoy being stiff-necked. We enjoy being disrespectful. We enjoy waking up, arguing. We enjoy keeping keeping a, a, a rift going on. We enjoy uh, 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 disharmony. Now let's go down to the history of how we enjoy disharmony. We enjoy slavery. We enjoy drugs and morality. We enjoy our enemy's lifestyle. We enjoy our enemies' gods. We enjoy our enemies' politics, their women, their children, their philosophy, their food, their way of life, their hairstyle. We enjoy everything of our enemy. And that's a clear sign of wrestling with the Most High. So you got that right. You are a children of a man who loves to wrestle with the words and the ways of the Most High. And it's making you very, very hard for you to be a Muslim, meaning submit to Yah. So you might want to be careful when you keep saying, I'm an Israelite, I'm an Israelite, I'm an Israelite, I'm an I'm a he I'm a Israelite. And if you haven't noticed the word Hebrew, one word, then Israelite come together. That means you're a Hebrew who wrestles with the book of with the book of Deuteronomy. You're a Hebrew who wrestles with the words of the Most High. You're a Hebrew who wrestles with your brother. Now, let's speaking of brother, let's get the facts on on this. So now, Jacob wrestles with the Most High. But after he gives in and he apologizes, what did the Most High give him? Give him. Isn't it called the Jacob's Ladder? Now, for his blessing of not stop wrestling with the Most High, the Most High gave him a ladder. When they go that song, Stairway to Heaven, Step by Step. Yeah, that's where that song came from. So now, Let's look at who else wrestles with their father and God. Judah, Reuben, Dan, Naphtal, Ezekiel, all of you. And you're not even Israel. You are the seed of Israel. I mean, you are the seed of the one who wrestles with the truth. You're the seed who wrestles with with the Torah. You are the seed who wrestles with each other. You are the seed who will hurt your own brother. You are the seed who will rob your own brother. You are the seed who will bury your brother. You are the seed who will sell your brother to your enemies. You are the seed. You are the seed who, who will not submit to the will of the Most High. And you run around here promoting yourselves like, like you, you're so wonderful. This is not a curse. This is the truth. And a lot of y'all don't want to hear this. Y'all don't want to hear this. So let's get let's get down. Let's go back down to Israelites. Now, Jake Judah, did he not uh, plot to kill Joseph? Didn't he tell all his brother brothers, let's kill our brother? Do you think the Most High put that in their head? No. It was that wrestle, that human part of Jacob that made him Israel. So that's why they call the children of Israel. Why? Because they did exactly what their father did, the attribute, the characteristics. They wrestled with the Most High. They, were, they didn't want to be Muslims. They didn't want to submit to the will of the Most High. They submitted to their own selves. And so they was enslaved for that. Because you do it all the time. You do it to this very day. Now. Let's look at. The blessings of who really. 
was was um, chosen. See, the twelve sons of Israel was not chosen. There was that promise, nothing. There was giving blessings by Jacob, not the Most High. Let me tell you how I know. Because if Jacob got a vision of a ladder, who else got a vision? Oh, wait. Find me in the scripture where Judah got a vision. Find me in the scripture where any of the 12 tribes of Israel got a vision. Except for one son. Who was like, who was submissive like his father Jacob. And after Jacob got submissive to the what? The will of the Most High. Thus, he became a Muslim. How did Joseph become a Muslim? How do we know that Joseph was a Muslim? Because the Most High gave him a vision. He didn't give nobody else in the children of Israel a vision but Joseph. And what did Joseph tell his, what did, what did Joseph tell his dad after his dad told him about the ladder? See, Jacob got the vision. Joseph got the vision. Nobody else got the vision. Because the Most High talked to Joseph and he talked to Jacob. He didn't talk to Israel. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me get this right, people. I'm looking at you in the face. Let me get this right. The Most High didn't talk to all of Israel. Matter of fact, he didn't talk to Israel at all. He talked to Jacob. And he came to Jacob to talk to him. And so when Jacob wrestled with the, with the knowledge, his name was changed to Israel because he refused to follow the Most High. Then when he decided that what he was doing was wrong, he got the ladder, it was called forgiveness, and he was given the keys to open up, to walk up, go up the stairs. Thus, we had the Tower of Babel by, by Babylonians and Nimrod. They're trying to open up these gates. This is why the sons are trying to open up the gates. Because Jacob, who later became Israel, who later acknowledged his faults, was giving to steer away to the Most High. And so that blessing went down to Joseph. Joseph got the vision, <clears throat> got the vision of the stars bowing down to him, which was his brothers. I don't know where y'all pride yourself at on this. Look, let, me get to, let me show you something else. If you got a Bible, digital, a Bible on your phone, Alright, look up this. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you real quick because I don't know my time is getting getting low. You see this? Uh, I got visions. From Maccabees, Daniel, Isaiah. It didn't say J Judah. Nowhere in the Bible, nowhere did it say anybody from the 12, anybody to say that Judah got visions. In fact, the prophets got visions to tell you stiff-necked Israelites, people who wrestle with the Most High, how to be Muslims. I might have to make a part two. This might not even make the cut. I'm going to be pissed off if it don't. Look it up. I'll show you. I got visions. I pressed the search thing. And Daniel, it brings up only prophets. Only prophets. Priests. Levites. Prophets. That's it. Chronicles. Samuels. Psalms. Nowhere that it says that not Jacob, not Joseph, but the children of Israel got visions. Nowhere. This might be cutting short, so I'm just going to have to cut this off real quick. But do your research. Prove me wrong. Peace.